Welcome back, my dear friends, to another daily tarot reading. In today's reading, we are going to be taking a look at what is going on with your person, the person that is on your mind, how they're thinking, what they're feeling. So we're going to jump right into it. I really hope you guys are doing well. We have Secret Crush. Ooh. I was kind of picking that up uh, this morning, actually, when I, I do my... Um, my daily uh reels and stuff like that i was picking up this like person that is secretly admiring <laughs> somebody out here so you know i'm obviously connecting with a few people here this is a collective message so please take what resonates and leave the rest but if this message does you know um i'm trying to flip my cards if this message does resonate please leave me a comment don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> all that goodness. Let's see, single, okay. And let's see what's going on here. Let me get a few cards, you guys. So right away, like I said, we have somebody that is actually like, I feel like watching you from afar. I feel like this person probably doesn't express how they feel towards you. Like I said, this is secret. Okay, yeah, they're admiring you from afar. They have feelings for you. I feel like they really um, connect with, like, for a lot of you, those of you that do connect with this reading, you know, you're really independent. You know, um, you do your own thing. I feel like a lot of you have done your own work and stuff like that. Work meaning inner work and stuff like that. And I almost get the sense that because we have ghosted and mass that like this person doesn't feel good enough for you. Um, there's something here about them having to hide how they really feel towards you. Um, but they're secretly admiring you over here. For some of you, I'm picking up this is, oh yeah, domination, Mars and Sagittarius. I just feel like this person tries to control the situation. And with you, they don't feel like they're so much in control with themselves because they do have feelings for you. So in order to keep the upper hand, they do things like ghost you. They, you know, they don't act like who they truly are. They feel like that maybe, you know, if they do, like I said, that they won't be accepted here. So they act like a different person. So let's see here who this is. Who is this? Who is this spirit? And if you guys need, um, you know, more clarity or anything like that, I do offer personal readings. All that's linked down below. Obviously, like I said, this is a collective reading and, you know, I'm just picking up the energy that of someone, of a specific group of people at this time. Spirit, who is this person? Who are we connecting with? Okay. For some of you, this is uh, someone younger than you. And this is someone younger than you. I do get the sense that this is someone that you have a past with. So this is someone from your past. Oh, I do. I just keep picking up the fact that this person is almost cold and mean to you um, because they're so afraid of connecting with you and you not accepting them. Like there is this energy of, I'm looking at this seven of cups of delusions here. And I do, I pick up like this person is just cold, like they're mean, they're rude. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times maybe when you're with this or, enter, you know, interacting with this person here, picking up a lot of messages and stuff like that, I feel like they won't write you back right away. Um, they wait a really long time, you know, maybe like hours or a day or something like that before they respond. They're doing all this intentionally in order to pretend like they don't care. They want to act like they don't care because there's something here. Spirit, what is this that I'm picking up on with this connection? There's something here about this connection that they're afraid of. They're afraid of connecting with you. I do, with the Page of Cups here, I get that this person's more like a loner. Nine of Cups. Okay, so what it feels like is you blindsided this person here with their emotions and feelings. And typically I feel like they, um, you know, do things on their own. They rely on themselves. They're independent people. 
and you know they're probably very social and stuff like that however there's this connection here with you that they can't deny they're secretly admiring you here and wanting to connect with you more but hiding it hiding it trying to act like everything is fine everything is good <laughs> however i'm picking up that it's not fine this is all like i said a mess this is them pretending three of swords this person's been hurt this person's been hurt really bad and it i mean i don't know i do pick up for some of you this is a past person past relationship they do they don't want to get back into it because of past scenarios and things that have happened between you two but that love you know that connection is just still here is what i'm picking up and it's such a strong connection for this person we have two nines here, which shows me this person's about to make this huge change. The Page of Cups shows me too that they are going to be reaching out to you. They're not going to be able to keep denying these feelings for you. Look how ugh, we have such strong feelings. I do. I feel like this person may possibly do something in order to mask these feelings like overwork. Maybe they drink a lot. Maybe they do something. Ugh, I don't want to say drugs, but it happens. <laughs> um, they do something here that is... Um, masking the feeling they have to mask the feeling and because of this i am picking up a lot of immaturity from this person emotional immaturity oh i got so many nines here they're not going to be able to take this look at this they're taking action soon you guys they can't take it anymore yep they have to speak their mind you can expect somebody to um reach out and tell you how they feel um, I'm getting a timing in the next two weeks, you guys. Uh, I feel like they're going to be reaching out. I feel like they're going to be expressing how they feel here. They're going to want to talk face to face, though, is what I'm picking up. Oh, my candle went out. They want to talk face to face. So I feel like this person maybe, um, you know, disappeared from your life for a while. They weren't around. And <laughs> like I said, they were using something or you're using things in order to mask these feelings that they have here but this can only go on so long it can only go on so long before it really drives you crazy and i'm almost picking up that that's where this person is at and they're to the point where they're like um you know if i don't express my feelings i'm gonna go crazy <laughs> let's see what they would want to say to you here let's see guys take a chance and a risk friends so you guys are possibly friends i feel like you guys are friends um, and maybe they're not wanting to risk that friendship here. They don't want to lose your friendship. However, they're connecting with you and they're actually, they're about to take a chance and reach out to you and tell you how they feel. I'm picking up, um, this could be a fire sign here. I'm getting the energy of a fire sign. But there's something about this person though that is actually really sad. I'm picking up a lot of sadness from them. Anxiety. I'm afraid to contact you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I do. Oh, am I? Yeah. Finances. Okay. I feel like finances is what they use in order to kind of um, mask their issues. So uh, for a lot of you, it's not like drugs or alcohol. I feel like this person just works a lot. They try to bury their head in work and finances and projects and things like that in order to not express how they truly feel but look at this we have anxiety building i'm afraid to contact you yeah but i definitely pick up that they are about to contact you they're about to take action towards you being near you makes me crazy oh wow yeah this person really has some strong feelings and it's like the more that they hold them back the bigger they become this is not going to be going on very long where they're able to actually hold these back they're gonna have to express their feelings so you can expect someone to come towards you you guys this person here and you know when i started this reading i said the person that's on your mind so you know this is someone that you're thinking of too someone that maybe you can feel this connection i feel like you have that intuitive connection where you're like this person likes me however it really is like a mind yeah it screws with your mind when someone tries to you know pretend like they don't like you however you can feel vibes and i feel like you feel those vibes 
However, this person's been so confusing. They've been confusing. I mean, we got ghosted. It's because they're doing this on purpose. They really do care about you. They really have strong feelings for you. And they're not going to be able to hold this back much longer. All right, my dear friends, I think this is all the messages that I have for you guys today. If you have any questions for me or anything like that, please comment below. I'm happy to look into things a little bit further. I want to connect with you guys a little bit more. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you guys have a super blessed day. Thank you so much for watching.